hello beautiful people you're especially welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time coming across this channel i say you're beautifully welcome i remain your humble sister from another mother my name is still remain excellency of the federal republic of my kingdom to healer the great you're welcome for in this channel we'll talk about political news celebrating personalities that has made us proud healthy lifestyle interview exclusive interviews comedy music a lot more and today hmm. yes so my people today we're going to be discussing about how the president of nigeria ahmed bola Tinibu, cries out and say ah my people this subsidy matter is not my fault oh, i inherited it from buhari you know eh, one of the greatest mistakes most of our leaders always make is that they forget that government irrespective of political party is a continuous business you know during the time of buhari when they never believe that apc is going to come back to power they held a meeting and then tried to remove this foil subsidy so that the incoming administration will suffer they were thinking that okay ah pdp is going to come to power or labor party is going to come to power let's do this thing like this so that they'll come and they'll, they'll come and they'll come and be they'll come and be complaining everywhere and they'll say ah the government of Buhari is better than the government we are seeing now but little did they know that they shot themselves on the leg <laughs> they never envisaged that tinibu their own or they will continue in power because of the poor administration that the nigerian people experienced from APC last eight years. So right now, hmm, the matter get killed because right now they are facing the heat. The president of Nigeria cries out when he held a meeting with the APC governors, newly elected and past current governors, and then the vice president of Nigeria and other dignitaries lamenting on the problem Buhari left for him in this subsidy so invariably if you look it the other way it's not actually tinibu's photo hey, hey buhari don't heap the problem keep for him but you know no say yes now their own party go call inheritor so because this thing is not giving the apc any good name anywhere but he buhari did it out of his own mind thinking that ah his labor party that will come or his pdp that will come but right now he's affecting them big time so beautiful people let's listen to the detailed meeting of what Tinibu told them when they came and the meeting he had with the duly elected governor. Let me hear your thoughts like at the comment section because hey, hey, or more the matter tie rapper. We'll discuss that matter for comment section. Meanwhile, if this is your first time coming across my channel, I say you're beautifully welcome. Hit that red subscription button and click on the notification bell for more of my political news coming your way. And a very big thank you to my returning subscriber. So beautiful people, let me not bore you too much. Keep watching, keep liking, keep sharing. Hear what the governors has to tell Tinibu and Tinibu replies to them. Keep watching I we'll be right back. The Excellency Mr. President, thank you for receiving us even at a very short notice in spite of your very crowded schedule. We are here today as members of the Progressive Governors Forum, primarily to fraternize with you as our leader and to formally congratulate you on your historic inauguration as the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. We also use the opportunity of the visit to formally pledge our unflinching loyalty and support to your administration as you undertake the other task of leading our country at this very trying time in our history. Mr. President, your inauguration was smooth and successful, and we are very proud to identify with you as the father of the nation. The presence of dignitaries drawn from across, across the globe, plus the outpouring of accolades and genuine love for you at the inauguration are clear testimonies to your wide acceptability. The lightning speed with which you hit the ground running has also clearly demonstrated the sincerity of purpose of your administration. This can only be a surprise to those who did not know you. 
who also did not know your capabilities and your leadership qualities. Your Excellency, being the courageous leader you are, we are glad to note that you have started very well indeed. Many knowledgeable and women in Nigerians, and even the multilateral institutions, have held this early sign of honesty of purpose as steps in the right direction. We are equally very proud that since your inauguration, you have been up and about. We have seen, just like many Nigerians have witnessed, and commended the flurry of activities within your office within just three days from your swearing in. Like the saying goes, it is easy to know the cheek that will grow into a cock from its early steps. It is clear from these early sure-footed steps of your administration that your government will be an action-packed government that will deliver democracy dividends promptly and decisively. If others are surprised, we are not because we are aware of your capacity and your commitment to excellence. The actions taken by you so far for our economic recovery, for the strengthening of national security, are very salutary. We stand firmly with you on this. As members of a political family which you are, which you are the head, we are also here to reassure you of our honor alloyed loyalty as you move to consolidate on the APC programs and policies and to offer Nigerians a new lease of life under your renewed hope agenda. Not only will we support your programs and policies, we shall assist to propagate them in our various states. In other words, we are your disciples and your full soldiers, and we are willing and ready to undertake whatever rules that will be assigned to us in this regard. So we have come to say to you, Your Excellency, that we are here. Send us. We believe it is incumbent on us to work alongside the administration to replicate your programs at the center in our various states. We are committed to strict implementation of your renewed hope manifesto of our great party, APC, which made us the preferred party at the last general elections. We are going to work with you and the security agencies to ensure the strengthening of the security architecture across the length and breadth of this nation under your tutelage. Most importantly, we shall do all within our behest to ensure the success of your administration, knowing how passionately you have want to build a better society for Nigerians. Fortunately for all of us, our great party has the majority legislators not only in the National Assembly, but in our, in our states. This guarantees a rather seamless implementation of the policies of our great party and other reforms that Mr. President may desire for the interests of Nigeria. The Progressive Governors Forum is therefore solidly behind you, both collectively and individually. Your challenges are our challenges, just like your triumphs shall be our triumphs. In this regard, the journey of a visionary, pragmatic, and committed service to our nation under your leadership, we shall remain committed, unwavering, and focused. Mr. President, sir, our message is simple. We are for you, and we are working for you and for Nigeria. Thank you, Mr. President, for your time. We look forward to a robust and result-driven cooperation with you and your administration. And please be also assured that our best wishes will always remain with you and we will continue to pray for the success of the administration and by extension the country Nigeria. Thank you Mr. President and once more congratulations. Excellency, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Chairman of the Progressive Governors Forum, the Chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum. My colleagues, good morning. Your Excellency, sir, the growth and development of the nation's economy is critical to the well-being of the sub-national governments. 
deepening internal democracy is key to peace building and social cohesion. Therefore, Your Excellency, as progressive governors, we must key into a vision and mission. And we shall provide our total commitment and loyalty for the central government to succeed under your leadership. Your Excellency, we are here just to show our solidarity. But in a later date, each and every one of us here has some certain challenges in his own state. will allow you to rest very well and then seek for an audience with you at a later, de later date so that we can interface with you on matters that are affecting our state and the nation and the nation in general. Once again, thank you very much, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, the Chairman of the Progressive Governors Forum, Your Excellency's Executive Governors under the platform of the APC. While the President is present, there is no need for me to make any contribution. Just a little perspective on some of the far-reaching decisions he has taken. The oil subsidy has become an albatross around the neck of the Nigerian economy for the past 40 to 50 years. And he took the bold step of removing the fuel subsidy. There will certainly free of resources that will come down to the states for your developmental initiatives. But it must be borne in mind that we should all be aware of the consequences of unveiling a masquerade. The oil scam cabal is a very, very powerful cabal that are dangerously loaded and they will go out of their way to undermine this great initiative by Mr. President. I will urge our colleagues, our governors, to really rally around the president and see to it that we call up the bluff of all the machinations that will be unleashed on the polity in the coming weeks. Some will certainly resist this decision. But even now, oil is going for 740 naira per liter in Togo. Cameroon had to close down their refinery because of cheap oil coming in from Nigeria. So there is a need for us to really rally around this beautiful decision by the president because it's for the good of our economy. Our economy is in a very, very bad shape. We either get rid of the oil subsidy or the oil subsidy gets rid of the Nigerian nation. That's how bad things are. So I just want to reiterate that let us rally around Mr. President. Let us not budge. Let us be resilient. Let us stand our ground and see that these two decisions, the collapse of the multiple exchange rates that has fueled a parallel market of corruption and the fuel subsidy scam. Thank you very much. And may God bless us all. Governors present, thank you very much. Uh, the meeting is not strange to me. But the content, as we have seen this morning, is so valuable. The camaraderie is very stimulating. This is about Nigerian project, not about Bola's uh, 
I don't have dealership in petroleum products. And I don't intend to have one. Decisions that you have seen, and I thank you for supporting, for encouraging all of this. It's one, I inherited and it is fundamental, inherit the asset and liability of my predecessor. That's it. No budget, no penny that I've removed. This is the first time you enter the council chamber, right? This is the first time that I'm entering it too. So, <laughs> oh, oh, what is it? But we have to push on, we have to make decisions that affect all of us. Are you as progressive thinker? philosophers under the umbrella of our party has a very serious role to play in educating the people and making sure that we manage ourselves. One, I will take the opportunity to appeal to you on the question on the leadership of the National Assembly. Maybe get a committee to see the Senate President. So that if there are areas I mean, of conflict, of or inadequacies. Then, from there, collaborative leadership can straighten it out, can negotiate, and make a deal, and get the stability that is required. Two items. Uh, me, uh, we need to do some arithmetic and uh, so searching on the minimum wage. We will have to look at that. We are digging deep into the revenue of the federal government. We must strengthen the source and application of those funds. Where is it coming from? I had security council meeting yesterday, two of the items, mainly security, then revenue. We had our discussions, and I want you to please continue in that line. If we think together and work together, Nigeria of our dream is not far away. Be sure we're not going to have the multiple exchange rate anymore. <laughs> to you, any time, it was late, a call for this meeting. 
And I said, okay, set aside my time. I must be here. That is the response to you. We equally have a political party to manage. Whichever way you skin it, we are still playing politics. But here we are. We have inherited the asset and liability of our predecessor. I will campaign for the job. We can't complain. We got it. To me, you are very, very lucky. How many, out of how many millions of Nigerians? That you now come out being the governors, and particularly governors from our party. I just need to appeal to you put yourself together. Let's constantly, constantly deliberate, think together, and um, maintain an open door policy. Get that one clear. I'm going to be making two announcements today. Appointments. I'm going to appoint Femi Gajabi Amira as the chief of staff. <laughs> and I'm going to take and uh, announce George Akume as SGF. So, if we take photographs, you like to smile, we smile. <laughs> if you don't want to smile after that, that's the, that's the end of it. I think I should respect you by giving that to you in this chamber, uh, first hand. <laughs> uh, that's it. Um, may God bless Nigeria. May God bless all of us. Uh, Is in your hand, and I'm ready to walk, consult, and listen anytime. Thank you very much. All right, beautiful people. I'm sure you're fit. I'm sure you're done watching the video, and I'm sure you're enjoying what you watch. You've listened to everything that is said. I want to hear your thoughts. You like at the comment section, me say, and they tell you, say, I want to hear what you feel about the video where you just watch now. And hey, what you learn, what you feel, because some of these things, some people will learn some things inside, yes. Whatever you feel, just share it at the comment section. Anything where you know, say, you learn, or why you feel, say, what you watch, what they're supposed to improve, or what you know, they suppose they did. Let me hear how you feel for comment section. Now, do not forget to hit that red subscription button and click on the notification bell for more of my political news coming your way. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.